scrappy chat it has been a while yeah i think it's been about a month or so since i've done a scrappy chat i'm a little tardy to the party <laughs> things have been crazy around here so i thought i would film a scrappy chat get caught up tell you all the exciting things that are coming up it is the week of national scrapbook day week yay it's starting actually national scrapbook day is on saturday it's always the first saturday in may so i'm going to talk about some fun things that are coming down the pike for that but first i have to say the Victoria Marie channel hit 6,000 subscribers. In fact, I'm at 6,100. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think if somebody would have told me that I would have been at 6,000 subscribers about three years ago, I would have just looked at them like, oh, you're right. You know, I just never thought that that would happen. But the channel has been growing thanks to all of you guys who tune in week after week, watch the content, comment. I love you guys so much. And I always say, I would not be where I'm at today if it wasn't for my subscribers, whether you're here following me on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. I just appreciate your support so much. So thank you. So thank you to all of my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're enjoying the content. To those of you who've been here for a while, I love you all. You're just amazing. And thank you so much for the support. Now, one of the things I realized after I hit 6,000 subscribers is that I did initiate, I did initiate, and I initially, <laughs> did a 6,000 subscriber giveaway, but that's been months ago. And so I want to honor that giveaway. So here's what I want to do. Um, so the deadline for this is going to be Monday, May 8th. Okay, this is the deadline. So what I want to do is I want to take all of those who commented on the initial video where I talked about my 6,000 subscriber giveaway, and I forgot what I was promising for that giveaway, but it was something to the effect of commenting, maybe asking me a question or sharing some information, whether it's about you or scrapbooking or something of it. You had to comment in some way, post your comment in the description box, and then you were entered to win a prize. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to refresh that giveaway so I can honor it. Um, so if you've posted on the initial video, then you're fine and you'll be entered to win the prize. You can also post on this video in the description box. So you're welcome to ask me a question. If you have any ideas or suggestions on content here for the Victoria Marie YouTube channel, if you are interested in taking a scrapbooking class, if you have ideas about class topics, you can post that down below and you will be entered to win a prize as well. So what is the prize? I am giving away six Victoria Marie online class enrollments. That's right, six of them. So if you're one who is selected, all you'll have to do is email me. Make sure that you check out the Victoria Marie class site. Let me know what class you're interested in taking and then I will automatically enroll you in the class. It's that simple. So six class enrollments is what I'm giving away for the 6,000 subscriber giveaway. Was that clever, right? A little punny? Yeah, I know, it's crazy. So anyway, six class enrollments. That's what I'm going to do to honor this giveaway. Thank you so much for your support. I love you all. Comment below whether you commented in the initial um, video about my 6,000 subscriber giveaway or in this video, comment below. You'll be entered to win. And then I will announce the winners next week. But you have until Monday, May 8th to comment. And let's put that like 12 midnight Central Standard Time. Whether you <laughs> comment on the initial video or comment on this video, it doesn't matter which one post your comment, and then I'll select a winner next week. You have until Monday, 12 midnight, Central Standard Time to comment, and then I'll pick a winner. The details are posted in the description box below, so you don't have to like take a note <laughs> on this. It's going to be posted awesome. below. So, so be sure to leave your comments so you can be entered to win one of six class enrollments on the Victoria Marie online class site. And as always, thank you so much, so much for your support here on this channel. Let's talk about National Scrapbook Day or International Scrapbook Day, probably one of my favorite weekends of the year in recognition of the memory keeping that we love so much in this community. I hope, I hope in your busy schedule that you are going to take some time out to get scrappy this weekend. There are so many online events um, and crops and retreats and things that happen during this weekend. There's already stores that are marketing sales and it's just going to be fantastic. So let me tell you what's on deck for the 2017 National Scrapbook Day with regards to Victoria Marie Designs. The first thing is I'm hosting uh, my second online crop, NSD online crop. And I host that through the Victoria Marie Facebook group. If you haven't joined the Victoria Marie Facebook group, a link is posted below. And I've also posted a link 
with information about the crop on the Victoria Marie blog. So make sure you check that out, all the details. So yeah. this year I have a wonderful, fabulous team of hosts who have created really fun challenges. We have prizes and we also have two wonderful sponsors, April Lily Shop as well as Spiegel Mom Scraps. So make sure you check out the Victoria Marie blog for more details about the Victoria Marie online crop. You just sit in the comfort of your home. You can do whatever challenges you want to. Each challenge has a prize and we will announce the winner of those prizes next Tuesday. So you actually have until Monday to play along with the crop. We're going to have a lot of interaction on the group and sharing our layouts and having a whole lot of fun. And I may be potentially doing Facebook Live. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to dip my toe. I'm going to see how it works. Dip my toe in the water see how it works. I've never done Facebook Live before. It looks easy. So yeah, that's kind of like my training ground before I do like YouTube live stream, which I want to do down the road, but I got to figure that out. But in any event, so we're going to have a lot of interaction, wonderful prizes, great crop challenges just to get your creative energies going. And yeah, just fun with a whole bunch of scrappers, but it's all online. So you can't beat that, cannot beat that. So come join us, join the Victoria Marie Facebook group, go to the Victoria Marie blog to get more information about this crop, as well as a listing of all of the challenges we're going to have our host this year, including yours truly, as well as the prizes that we're offering and information about our sponsors this year. So big up to April Lily Shop and Spiegel Mom Scraps. So glad to have them. They're offering some prizes here. I think you guys will love it. Um, it's going to be a great weekend. It's going to be a fun, fun weekend. Speaking of, I will be posting here um, some videos for National Scrapbook Day as well, some process videos, and the return of my little intern might be happening as well, my little daughter, Corinne, who has been begging me, begging me to do a scrapbook process video. So um, hopefully I'll have time this week to film her. And so if you have kiddos who like to get creative, that's something that they might wanna check out. So, so all that to be said, I hope you join the Victoria Marie online crop. If anything, find something to do that's creative this weekend, right? Don't let the weekend pass you by without doing something awesome and creative in honor of National Scrapbook Day or International Scrapbook Day. So I hope that you find something to get involved with and have fun and get creative. Now, the last thing I want to talk about with regards to National Scrapbook Day is I'm going to be running a sale on all Victoria Marie online classes this weekend only, starting Friday, May 5th through Sunday, May 7th. You can take 40% off all Victoria Marie online classes. That's right, 40% off. So if you haven't taken the class, if you didn't know I even created classes, which I do, if you've been on the fence about a class, I've had a lot of people say, oh, I've been wanting to take your class, but I haven't been able to afford it, or maybe I forgot about it, or whatever. This is the weekend to do it. Save 40% off of all Victoria Marie online classes and get a feel for the classes if you haven't taken them. Now, all you have to do is go to the Victoria Marie class website, and the link is posted below, and I'll post information about this on my blog as well, which should go up today after this video post. Go to the Victoria Marie online classroom page, check out the classes. You're going to use coupon code VMNSD and that starts this Friday. Okay, so right when you pop up on Friday, go to the website, purchase the classes that you want. The sale will last throughout the weekend. So I hope that you check that out. I can't think of a better weekend to take a Victoria Marie online class than National Scrapbook Weekend. I mean, so lots of awesome things happening for National Scrapbook Day weekend. So I hope you play along and really enjoy the spirit of the weekend. All right, so lastly is a scrappy wisdom. And this is something that I started, um, I think in the first scrappy chat of this year. It was probably maybe in February or January, just to impart some of my thoughts on some of the topics that we talk about here in the scrapbooking community. So a couple of weeks ago, I posted a blog post that was all about not um, falling into the trap of feeling like you have to do all the scrappy projects. And there's so many wonderful scrapbooking projects out there. So whether it's a day in the life project, week in the life, December daily, traveler's notebooks, Bible journaling, um, mini albums, bullet list, planning. I mean, just there's all kinds of things out there that have spawned really from scrapbooking and other places. Art journaling is another thing. And if you're like me, then you tend to um, be interested in all the things. And recently I started feeling bogged down by the thought of wanting to do all of these projects, but just don't have the time to do it. And so I told myself, I am not going to get caught up in all of these projects because I can't feasibly do them all. And uh, just because I may like something doesn't mean that I want to do it <laughs> or that I have time to do it. 
but to really hone in on the creative projects that bring me happiness, that bring me joy, that really ignite my creative fire. And for me, it will always be scrapbooking. There are other things that I like to do. Like I've tried to get into the traveler's notebook thing. It hasn't really worked out for me. I may have one video on this channel where I've talked about that. But it just hasn't worked out for me. Um, and so I've decided that I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I'm not going to make it a creative priority. So my little um, Traveler's Notebook albums that are right there, <laughs> that's where they are right there. I haven't even really used them. They're beautiful. I haven't used them, but I'm not going to stress myself out over it right now. Maybe one day I'll find a use for it. But right now I just I just don't have the time. Um I also like planning. I like decorating my planner, but I have limits on that because I don't want to spend three hours decorating my planner. Again, something that used to stress me out, but I then had to change it so I don't feel like I have to do all the things. Um, I have been getting into art journaling a lot and I've been doing art journaling as a different form of creativity and exercising my creative muscle. And so I try to do art journaling every morning. So that is something that I can commit to that's relatively easy and incredibly enjoyable for me. But of course, scrapbooking is something that I do day in and day out. I absolutely love it. And I'm making that my main thing and giving myself permission to let go of the expectation that I have to do all the creative projects, particularly now that um, I'm in the industry professionally, I want to be able to provide diverse content, but not to the point where I feel like I'm dabbing into all these different projects and nothing's really getting done and I'm not really getting any satisfaction out of it. So my scrappy wisdom to you is make your main thing the main thing. Don't feel like you have to do all the scrappy projects. There shouldn't be any guilt associated around that. That also doesn't mean that one day you don't dabble in something new. And I think that when we do other types of creative projects, it keeps our creativity fresh and it really strengthens our creative muscle for the main creative activity that we like to do. And I suspect for a lot of you that may be scrapbooking, which is probably why you tune in to scrapbook YouTube videos and participate in the community. I think it's okay to have a healthy amount of FOMO, right? Fear of missing out. But not to the extent that we feel like we're failures creatively because we're not doing all the things. So... My scrappy wisdom to you is don't feel like you have to do all the things. Make your main creative thing your main thing and enjoy it and derive joy from that and continue to do that as long as it brings you joy. And don't be afraid to try something new, but don't feel like you're obligated to do all of the scrappy projects. All right, guys, so that is it for this scrappy chat. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you post them below. Now, remember, if you're playing along, with the 6,000 subscriber giveaway, you can comment either on this video with your comment or question or in the previous video and that link is posted below and you'll be entered to win one of six free Victoria Marie online class enrollments. Super excited about that. Happy National Scrapbook Day weekend that's coming up. You'll see more videos this weekend um, as we have a lot of fun and get creative in honor of National Scrapbook Day. I hope you guys have a phenomenal week and I will see you next time.